Hello everyone, this is not a review, it's just me, a plastic model building amateur, looking at a thing and talking about it. The thing is from Bandai and Bandai's Gundam franchise. It's called Bawu and it's under the Re 100 line, 1 100th scale, not quite master grade. And if you want to have a lot of fun trolling people on the internet, you can call it Re Bawu because hey, it's Re 100 and it's a Bawu, so call it a Re Bawu which in universe is a different suit and therefore you will get a lot of righteous indignation, but it's fun. Puns are fun and puns that <laughs> make people get <laughs> unnecessarily angry can be fun too. No, don't do that. Don't do that. It's, it's mean. This is mostly a kit stock build here in the United States. At least the green version of this is the, is the mass production version is mass production in universe, not mass production in uh, in real life is ironically a P Bandai exclusive. The standard color is red with, I think a slightly more orangish yellow color for the accent. So this one has two different colors of green. Uh, this to what mossy now, what, what do you uh, like a dark sage? I don't know. The darker color is, is more saturated and also a little bit more bluish. It's more towards the, the, I guess a uh, forest green almost towards a teal. The build of this from me is mostly kit stock, mostly just a snip and snap, but I did panel line it real quick like, and also did just a little bit of touch up work. So like the, the red right there is, is painted in uh, a couple spots on the arms are painted in a little bit, just a little bit really quickly with some, some markers and some of the small details on the weapon over here are painted on just for, for the heck of it. Just really, really small things. Just to, just to, I don't know, make it a tiny, tiny bit better. But otherwise, most of this is just kit stock. Comes with a, those are water slides, right? Water slide kit, if I recall correctly. It's unfortunate you can see the edges a lot. It's because I, I put a, I believe it was a matte coat on this. The reason it's looking kind of satin, like a low satin, and I put just a single layer really quick of a matte on it, so, you know layer up your top coats more and you'll see the edges of the the details start to you know like the decals and things like that start to blend in a little bit more i like this thing a lot and i like the re 100 line a lot because it allows you to get a nice size it allows you to get that one 100 one 100 scale size that i personally like a lot without having to spend a whole lot of time building so these take about a half as about half as long for me as master grades and some of them are actually good like this one here for example is very good from what i've heard the older ones in the re 100 line not so hot uh, less articulation uh, one example actually is the gundam mark three is it yeah, mark three unit eight that i did that that red tall one it looks great but does not have necessary ankle articulation to do things like this this one has the minimum amount of articulation that you realistically need to get some some basic posing it's also got the double jointed elbows there good uh, very good articulation for the shoulders although the pauldrons are not able to completely rotate around uh, separately they're actually locked to the upper joints but i i just overall i like this thing i like it quite a bit got some articulation back here and stuff and i'm i'm going through this relatively quickly because I don't want to mess with that pose. I set up the pose after I was done with it and I liked it. I want to keep it that way. After this video, I want to put it right back on the shelf on display in this same pose. Ah, one part that it snapped out just a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's nice to be able to have these relatively cheap kits that are still of a good size. And this one just felt, it felt right to me. It didn't feel, it did not feel cheap. It felt like, it did not feel like a, an HG 1 one hundredth scale. Um, maybe more like a modern HG 1100, you know, closer to a Messer or something like that in a, in a good way. It doesn't have the, the highest level of engineering and, and trickery, uh, really, really cool stuff to it, but it's, it's pretty good. And most importantly to me, the end result looks good, looks solid, looks very presentable, no matter what the grade is, you know, no matter what, uh, I don't know, what what level of respect I should have for it based on its, based on its series. They also have uh, a beam saber set up for this. This actually has two beam saber hilts. One of them is right there, almost on the wrist. The other one's over there on the opposite side. 
And if I recall correctly, the beam saber blades for this one are yellow. And yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to, to show that because it's in my collection and not everybody's able to see these builds live on Twitch. So for folks who haven't seen it, there you go. <laughs> Don't call it a Rebawu. <laughs> the Bawu Re100 mass production type. Pretty much kit stock straight build. Easy, nice look. Not the highest level of engineering and articulation, but I think a good value. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.